I know we're an oil country, and uh, we need American energy. And, and by the way, uh, American energy production, it went up every year I was president. And, you know, that whole suddenly America's like the, the biggest oil producer and the biggest guy. Uh, that was me, people. I just wanted you to. <laughs> wow, there he is in Houston yesterday taking full credit for the booming energy industry after he left office. This time, oil production. Is he rewriting history or is he just stating the fact? Let's bring in John Hoffmeister, former president of Shell Oil Company, to react. John, it went up every year that he was in office. Is he wrong about that? The, the facts are the facts. And yes, the production did increase throughout his term. But frankly, he had nothing to do with it. This was production in states like Texas, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Colorado, uh, North Dakota in particular. And these were all state decisions made with industry applications for permits. The federal government had no role. And if anything, he was trying to frustrate the efforts by taking federal lands off of the availability list, putting them out, you know, just no more drilling. He, he shut down the Gulf of Mexico for a period of six months changed the regulations from an average of 60 to 80 pages per, per, per permit to 600 to 800 pages per permit. He also never approved the Keystone XL pipeline after dangling all the potential customers for eight years. And it was in the eighth year when he said no, no Keystone pipeline. And so I would say that he was not a leader when it comes to energy other than the Clean Air Act or the Clean, uh, clean Power Plan where he tried to remake the uh, power generation industry without involving Congress, and the Paris Accords, again, without involving Congress. So he did, tried to do a lot, but it was not in the direction right. of the kind of energy that President Trump is working on. Beneficiary of fracking, too, correct? Absolutely. And, and fracking, of course, came online about the time that Obama became president, which, again, he had nothing to do with. And, and the Environmental Protection Agency did a number of studies and were able to demonstrate that fracking did not pollute local groundwater, and so we continue to frack. So, John, do you find it maddening that the numbers show it does increase and the president's taking full credit for it because, you, because in, in the big picture, you feel he absolutely got in the way? Well, he was mostly in the way when it came to any carbon-based fuel. But when it came to the actual facts of the matter, because there were areas beyond his jurisdiction, things got done. The industry and the states working together did a remarkable job, which continues to this day under Trump. And so he can take credit for all he wants, but whether people believe him or not, it depends upon you know, how much history do you really know versus how much history do you want to reinvent? So John Hopmeister was not on the stage in Houston, uh, but he spoke back here uh, this morning in New York. John, thanks so much. You bet.